New at five tonight, a man is charged with using his car as a weapon, crashing head on. The debris flying close by a busy bus stop. Thankfully, no one was hit. Columbus police say the man shouldn't have been behind the wheel in the first place. 10 TV's Lacey Crisp shows what happened and that near miss. Witnesses tell me the cars hit head on. The victim's car ended up spinning out into that field. The suspect's car hit this pole. You can see the debris that's left over. Actually, I was coming home from work. I um, was about to park my vehicle on the street and I seen a head on collision. Well, I thought it was a head on collision, but it was actually intentional. David Slaughter says it looks like the victim saw this suspect, Tyrone Jones, speed up towards him and the victim tried to swerve out of the way but he was hit head on. Slaughter says his first concern was to make sure everyone was okay. The victim jumped out saying, hey, he just tried to kill me. Uh, the suspect um, used his vehicle um, to intentionally strike um, the victim who was inside his vehicle as the driver uh, to attempt to cause serious physical harm. Columbus police say the two men knew each other and had gotten into an argument before getting into their vehicles. Commander Mark Downer says Jones tried to get away. He actually hopped out the vehicle uh, with a boot on, like a surgical boot, grabbed his cut crutches and went down the street. Slaughter says he's just glad no one else was injured. Once he hit the pole, the hood flew three houses down. So I'm glad nobody was walking down this sidewalk here because a lot of people walk down the sidewalk to take the bus. And the suspect who did not have a valid driver's license will be charged with felonious assault. In Columbus, Lacey Crisp, 10TV News.